Guys, we've woken up this morning in beautiful Bally Castle in Northern Ireland. We're in Northern Ireland for the weekend. We basically have 48 hours here and we want to make the absolute best of it that we can. So here are our tips for the best 48 hours in Northern Ireland. Stay somewhere on the coast, preferably somewhere with a view. We were very kindly invited out to Northern Ireland by the Marine Hotel in Ballycastle. It's right on the Northern Irish coast, only a 50 minute drive from Belfast International Airport, which is only a 45 minute flight from Manchester. Perfect for a weekend trip, really. It's amazing, we came here after dark last night and just really didn't know where we were and woke up this morning and the views were just spectacular out of our hotel room window. Guys, look we have woken up to. Make the most of your time here. If you only have 48 hours in a place, especially in December, you have to wake up for sunrise. Pick a place with a view that faces east and head straight there. Look at this, this is a five minute drive from the hotel. We're at Kimbane Castle. I've been to Northern Ireland before, but Jack hasn't, and I'm so excited to be here with him. And just, this is just our kind of place, you know, the kind where you feel like adventures around the corner at every step. True to that word, we've driven five minutes and we're between a waterfall and a castle. You can hear the really loud thud of the waves hitting the inside of that cave that's underneath this rock and it's just like, ugh, it like hits you in the gut because it's so deep. Start your day off right with a delicious Irish breakfast. Good morning viewers, we're here at breakfast, the most important meal of the day if you want to have adventures either at your hotel or if you've missed hotel breakfast because of your sunrise trip, find somewhere local that does a good full Irish. Are you finally getting your food? Pretty happy about this. What a beautiful place. Very nice place to eat food. I need food. Let's <laughs> eat food. So we were up at sunrise this morning to get some shots on the coast. So we're pretty hungry now and we've gone to Time and Co, which is just down the street from the Marine Hotel um, to grab some breakfast. And um, we're both getting big English breakfast. Or is it called Irish breakfast here? If you come to Ireland, you definitely have to try the soda bread. It's like really compact and it's so soft and squidgy. Guys, things have just got even better. We have potato cakes with our big breakfasts. I mean, that is the best thing you can ever hope for. Get to know the town you're staying in. The Marine Hotel is in Ballycastle and that was our base for the weekend. Ballycastle is the kind of place where each shop, each pub, has decades of family history behind it. The kind of place where people will stop their cars in the street to give money to a good cause. Is that the best thing you have ever seen? And where people are proud of their locally made goods. Check out the local goods. The family's been making ice cream for 40 years. Over 40 years. Since 1976, mm. I believe. He says as he reads it off the wall. <laughs> this ice cream is so good. It's like a Mr. Whippy. But like better, like significantly better. You can tell the ice cream is good because we were surprisingly not the only ones having an afternoon Sunday in mid-December. Explore the coast. Bally Castle sits on the Causeway coastal route, so you're surrounded by everything this dramatic coastline has to offer. I feel like the Northern Irish coast is incredibly underrated. Aside from the crowds at the Giant's Causeway and some of the Game of Thrones filming locations, we hardly bumped into a single tourist. Guys, we're at the Giant's Causeway and it is raining. It's not the nicest of days, but it's still beautiful here and we're still gonna enjoy it, right? <laughs> this is super cool. Out there is the crash wave in the Atlantic Ocean. And here it's like stepping up paving stone. It's very stormy and it is wild up there. 
Sure, sure, go see the popular tourist attractions, but go off the beaten track too. It will be rewarding. Be prepared for the weather because it will come down on you. There's a storm coming in. Embrace it. Woo! <laughs> Sheen's horse farm. We're about to go riding. I have never been riding before, so uh, prepare for hilarity, comedy, and maybe an awesome cowboy <laughs> coming at you. He's got his cowboy boots on, and so do I. Guys, this is the weather. It was nice a second ago. <laughs> Feel close to nature. Feel the wind in your hair. Feel adventurous. Feel inspired. Just feel. It was great and then this came down on us. <laughs> And now I don't think I'll ever be able to get off this saddle because I'm like frozen to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and rent a car. You'll want the freedom to take a turn down a particularly cool road or to drive to the highest point in sight. Ooh. Drive to the highest point in sight. We're actually going to that huge rock cliff that you can see uh, from the bay, from the hotel, which is like it's called uh, Fair Head and it's this really prominent cliff that stick out, jut out into the bay. So we had to get up there. We saw it as the highest point and we were like, we've got to go. So sundown, let's get there. It might be surrounded by cliffs that will have you hanging onto each other for dear life. I hope you're holding on to me. But it will take your breath away. You're on the coast, so eat seafood. Lots of it. The Marine Hotel even has a seafood night on Fridays and it is incredible. Pretty excited about dinner, actually. This is the Christmas seafood evening here in Marconi's. And we're on the sea, we're on the coast, so it's gonna be super delicious, but it looks so good. Particularly garlic and chili clams. Mm. It's really nice. Outrageous and nice. My salsa is so nice. The sauce is delicious. I could ask for a spoon like a normal person, but I've decided to like use the shells instead, so. <laughs> Everything is fresh and locally sourced. And don't forget to have a Guinness. We're in Ireland, and so probably gonna have a cheeky little Guinness. Sat here by the Christmas fire. Guinness tastes so much nicer in Ireland. So smooth. O'Connor's Bar is another local food gem. You wouldn't expect it when you walk in. It has the energy of a classic pub. But the food here is really delicious. All local and the portions are exceptional too. Really nice. I'm glad I went for the big portion. There's live music everywhere. It's hard to miss, but make sure you don't miss it. Have a cocktail. Get to know the locals. Everyone here will talk to you. <laughs> Go out with the locals. Have a drink with the Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Guys, we're at McDonald Bar, which is one of the oldest bars in Ireland. Everybody here calls it Tom's, and we're about to get a drink. It's so Christmassy in here, and everyone's so friendly, and it just, uh, it feels like we're living the real Irish life. Become a local. That one, that's what I'm worried about. Gentle does it. Oh, you don't have to do anything. This isn't a hard job. <laughs> it gets worse. Oh, what do I do now? Stop! Stop! Stop. Stop. Really? No, I leave it to cook. Sit down. It's got to settle. Settle. That's Can I do a shamrock on top? I'm not paying extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> keep, just keep going. No, it's fine. You're doing well. Stop now. Perfect. Oh. 
I've never worked behind a bar and that was my dream. Right, yeah. We're moving to Northern Ireland, Jack. You've got a job. I have a job and, uh, and I'm going to office. a staff party. <laughs> and at the end of a long day, make sure you get to relax as well. Have an Irish coffee by the fire, maybe a hot whiskey, maybe even a hot bath. Take a moment to reflect, to be grateful. Enjoy each other's company. Our stay at the Marine Hotel really put us in the festive spirit. It's kind of the perfect pre-Christmas getaway. If you celebrate Christmas, then we hope you've had a most wonderful one with all of your loved ones. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content because we will be back with you before the new year. But for now, guys, happy holidays and bye till then. Happy holidays!